How to create NFT art designs with Canva, a step-by-step -step tutorial. Hey guys, so for today's video, I am going to teach you how you can create NFT art designs through Canva. So if you want to learn more, then just keep on watching. So here at Canva, before you can proceed to designing your own art, you have to create an account by signing up through email or your Gmail account. So it's a very easy process. So here I have my account and we are at the homepage. So you could choose any size of the NFT art that you want. But for now, I want my NFT art to be the size of an Instagram post. So that's like 1080 by 1080. But you can choose other sizes like the size of a presentation or a size of a poster. So, you know, you could explore options here at Canva. But this is what we will be working with right now. So here at the sidebar, you could see the templates. So there's so many templates available here in Canva. So you could search that up. Um, there's also some elements here like graphics, audio, videos. So we will be using this part of the sidebar later on. And we can also upload our own photos or videos or audios here. So if you have some, then you could just upload it directly to Canva. There's also a dedicated section here for photos, free photos. And you could also add text. If you want some typography in your NFT art, then you could use this feature. There's also styles here, audio, like music, and some logos. So let's go back to elements. So this is how we will be starting off our design. So I want my design to be surrealistic or something that's very random or fantasy-like. So I'm just searching up galaxy. This is what I would be using as my background. So you know, here in the elements page, you could just type any keyword that you want. And I am certain that Canva has something to show for that keyword, whether it's photos, graphics, videos, or audios. There's like millions of elements here in Canva. So even if it's like a very broad keyword like shape, circle, line, or maybe a person or a collage, you could search it up and you will certainly find something that you would want to include in your NFT art. So here I'm just looking for the perfect galaxy background that I want for my NFT. Um, when I scroll up and scroll down, there's so many options. So here, I think this is the one that I picked for the final background. I'm just uh, enlarging it and trying to make it fit on the picture size. So that's my background. So when I click the graphic section of the elements, and it's going to show me the illustrations, drawings, or cartoons, even GIFs of like the galaxy. So if you want to incorporate something like this in your NFT, then feel free to click the graphics and look for the illustrations that you want to include. There's also videos here if you want your NFT to be a video. But for now, I'm going to delete that and I'm going to go ahead and look for another element that I want to include. So here I'm just typing the word pyramid. So I want to look for a pyramid that can go with my galaxy background. So I just click the section photos because I want to find something that's realistic for my pyramid. So this is what I picked. And as you can see, my image right here has a background. So what I'm going to do is remove the background. So I just clicked on edit image and clicked on the background remover option right there to easily remove the background of my pyramid. And here it is. It's so easy. You just have to literally click the option and the background of the image is instantly removed. So now I'm just putting the pyramid on the bottom of my picture right there. I'm just aligning it to the center. And there it is. Very easy. I just added another element. So now I want to add a moon to my picture. So I'm just searching that up in the elements section again. And there's so many options that I can choose from. So I just chose this picture right here. It's already a PNG, so I don't really have to remove the background for that. So I just clicked on edit image. And as you can see, you can apply different filters to your element right here. And like black and white or something colorful. So, you know, you could click on it and add some fun effects to your picture. But I'm not going to do that right now. And I just want to keep the moon as it is. So now I just clicked on my background background element and I want to add some filter to it actually so I just clicked on edit image 
and I'm just exploring some options that I want to apply as a filter to my galaxy background right here. So here I am just choosing one from the trippy filter right here. So I just apply the one that I like and here it is. It looks cool and neat so I'm gonna keep that. So now I'm searching up for mountain pictures. So I am here at the photo section again and I'm looking for something that uh, I could easily remove the background of, so I'm just choosing. Again, there's a lots of options. So this is the one that I chose for my mountain picture. So I just clicked on edit image and clicked on the background remover option or tool. And here it is without the background. So now I'm just figuring out where I want to place this picture of the mountain. So I could actually put this behind the pyramid. So I just click position and click to backward. So now it's behind the pyramid picture. And I want another one of that mountain. So I just duplicated it by hitting command D. And you could also flip it horizontally or vertically. So I'm going to flip it vertically and I'm going to place it behind the boon right here. Again, click position and click backward until the image is behind the moon. So I'm just placing it right there on the side. And I'm going to duplicate the picture of the mountain again because I want to place another one beside it. So just hit command D and position it behind the pyramid and backward. There you go. I'm just going to align it here so that it fits. And there you go. So now I want to add a texture to my image. So I'm just searching that up in the elements section. And here we go. There's lots of textures that I can choose from. Um, paper texture, we have a brick texture here or a paint texture. So you could enlarge that and you could control the opacity by clicking this transparency button right here and just adjusting it. So I don't really like this effect, so I'm just going to delete it and find something else for the texture. Okay, so I'm here at the graphics section. So this is what I chose. It's like a droplets of paint. So you could change the color in this element as well. I'm just choosing this deep red color for my texture. And that is it. I am satisfied for now, so I'm just going to leave it at that. Again, you could make use of the available elements here on Canva. There are millions of elements that are available. So you just have to search for the right keyword of the elements that you want. So you could search for collage, so you could find this. And you can search for like scribbles. So there I just quickly made another one with like scribbles and writings over there. So in order to save your NFT art here on Canva, all you have to do is click the download button and you can choose from various file types. So for this one, I just chose PNG and just hit the download button right there. And it's going to start downloading onto your computer. So that concludes our video for today. I hope that you guys have learned something from the tutorial that I gave you. So good luck in making your own NFTs here on Canva and I will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching!